Hello, my friends and fellow Betsies. Isn't this mug just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it so much. So it's day five and I figured that if I'm gonna talk about music all month, it might be a good idea to explain what types of music I gravitate towards and how I listen to that music and discover new music. So let's get going. So in the May-June edition of 2022 in review, I mentioned that I don't really listen to a lot of albums, and that is 100% true. I don't know if that's because my parents burned a lot of stuff when we were growing up, if it's because we really only had like greatest hits and live CDs, if we had CDs of anything at all, or that I didn't develop my own taste in music until iTunes and Pandora and Spotify were already very much a thing. But yeah, I just don't listen to albums normally. At least not traditional albums. Musical theater albums I don't think count. Movie soundtracks, that sort of thing I don't think count to the traditional album. So what do I do instead? other than just listen to musical theater. Well, in high school, I was a big Pandora radio gal. And I really liked that because it suggested similar songs and artists. But that also got really messy really quickly. It's hard to differentiate between a John Denver station, a James Taylor station, and a Neil Diamond station, you know? Like, try to get an algorithm to understand the minute differences between Josh Groban, Michael Buble, and Frank Sinatra? Impossible! And, and yes, my, my tastes do gear that old, uh, if the I Love Lucy doll in the corner of the frame wasn't enough of a hint, uh, I was a very sheltered child, and we didn't have family friends. And my parents were the youngest siblings in their families. Uh, both of my grandfathers fought in World War II, so everything skews a little old around here. So, uh, of course, I never really was on top of the trends. Then I got to college, and one of my roommates introduced me to Spotify, which was awesome because I could get hyper-specific in the way that Pandora never let me. And I have been abusing that privilege ever since. One of my favorite parts of Spotify is getting to create character playlists. Whether it's a character who I'm playing in a show, one of my D&D characters, or just somebody from a show I'm currently obsessed with. Getting to create these just hyper-specific playlists is so satisfying to me. And they're not super literal, like I don't think my little gnome druid Brina would particularly like Sweeney Todd, but I'm a theater kid and she has a caged bird motif, so of course Greenfinch and Linnet Bird had to be there. Creating and sharing these playlists is also my favorite way of discovering new music. Whether it's rediscovering a song that I had forgotten how much I loved, like when I put Hello Again by Neil Diamond on my Our Flag Means Death playlist, spending days scouring the internet trying to find the exact right song, like how A Burning Hill by Mitski is on Brina's playlist to represent her trying to keep it together for the sake of her friends as she is completely falling apart on the inside, or somebody else making a playlist for the same character or a related character and having a song that I don't know on there. Like when a bunch of us in my production of Men on Boats did playlists, and my friend Caroline put Grace Kelly by Mika on her character's playlist. I don't end up checking out a lot of new stuff, but what I do find is well-curated, peer-reviewed, and somewhat predictable, which is really nice for my anxiety. And I think that's a major factor in why I listen to music the way that I do. I want something predictable, something gentle, something comforting. I want to be able to put on my headphones and feel safe. And sure, maybe I am missing out on stuff, but with how crazy and chaotic things are, is it really that wrong to want a little safe haven? I don't know. Maybe I'm overanalyzing things. I do have a tendency to do that. But I'm curious. 
how do you guys listen to music? And how do you find new music? All right, my friends and fellow Vedsies, I'll see you tomorrow.